Okay, everybody, this is going to be the walkthrough of a 1984 double wide mobile home that we picked up for our mobile home park uh, for 12000 So walking up the front steps and it come with all the porch and pretty much everything, the skirting and it's got a metal roof. T111 siding and it's all drywalled 100% drywall even though it looks like paneling that's drywall that would be the dining area and all the carpet had been tore up in the it looked like it was still in good shape. They just didn't. They decided to take it up. It's got a fully functioning kitchen. All the cabinets are intact, and there's a new, fairly new dishwasher. Pretty new washer and dryer. That would be the back door there. Furnace to the left. Breaker panel to the right there. And straight ahead will be the hot water tank, which looks pretty new. Had a small refrigerator there. The flooring in the kitchen wasn't too bad. It was some kind of plastic tile, though, that I didn't like. This is going to be the main bedroom, the big bedroom. Oh, and this is a three-bedroom, two-bath. It uh, has a nice big walk-in closet. And then a small, uh, like a towel closet there to the left. And then the bathroom for the for the main bedroom. And I believe this is um, completely livable as is. Um, a little little dirty in the bathroom, but not not terrible. I would definitely uh, remodel okay we're going down the hallway to the other bathroom It's got a uh, funny little shower stall. That does not look original. Now we go in. This, I believe, is the smallest bedroom.
And everywhere that had carpet, they had pulled it up. Um, this bedroom needs a little bit of work. Uh, got some floor, subfloor that is there but needs to be screwed down. And then some drywall work. I believe this is a uh, 28 by 48 double wide. So I did all the work splitting this thing apart. And um, so I put the axles on one half and jacked it up. And then I fell the jacks over. Um, and that's how it got this 10 inch gap. And then I put my truck I hooked it up to my truck and um took put took it apart and then uh the mover was able to get it from there and this is just showing how I had split it apart so that's basically how far it fell apart when I kicked the jacks over I forgot to mention how many there was probably hundreds of screws holding this bolts holding this thing together um, a lot of bolts on the steel frame and bolts going through the top beam, um, and then on each side. This is a picture of when we moved it, um, to my property, um, by the mobile home park. And it was a, a thousand per side, so two thousand total to move it. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe.